Good morning, Abraham. It is. First, thank you for that. I appreciate it. So, natural, easy conversation. Why did we choose or source? Can you hear? Can you guys hear? Is this better? <laughs> really? Why did we choose emotion as the form of communication? You didn't choose emotion. Emotion is the response to vibrational frequencies. Jerry and Esther had a series of motor homes and motor coaches. They ended up in the last years with those 45 foot Prevo buses. But one of the early rigs that they were driving around at 54 miles an hour, there was a vibration in the frame of the thing that just happened at 54 miles an hour. It was a sort of response to the way the frame was welded together and the speed of the tires and it was steady and reliable and Esther's driving and Jerry's in the back and here's the reverberation and Jerry yells 54 miles an hour because it was always at 54 miles an hour that that would happen so it was a reverberation in response to some things that you would call physics of the world well you have a physical being that is really a vibrational being you are more vibration than anything else so as we said a few minutes ago that your inner being who is a large part of you even though most people don't really know that a large part of the vibrational beingness that is you is this non-physical energy that vibrates at a specific frequency in a range that you would feel or call very different it would be hard for your physicists and scientists to calibrate these high frequencies because in your human world all of your equipment is contoured to frequencies that have more resistance in them so it would be hard for you to find a piece of equipment that could really calibrate or understand or even read the frequency of this non-physical being that is you so as you do what we talked about earlier step one and you know what you don't want and therefore ask for what you do want you launch this frequency from a body of resistance into an atmosphere of no resistance where it is immediately calibrated into that high frequency that's the best way of describing it easily where it is held in non-resistance which means anytime something is held in non-resistance it's an absolute certainty that it will manifest because it is only the resistance that ever prevents anything from coming about so your desire is held by your inner being in this state of non-resistance but you still have an opinion or an attitude about it so your inner being has a frequency about said subject and you have a frequency about said subject and the way those frequencies blend together is what equals whether you reverberate in your motorhome at 54 miles an hour so sometimes the reverberation equals frustration that's the way you translate it sometimes the reverberation equals ecstasy when you are really in sync with your inner being you are so close to the vibrational frequency of your inner being and there is therefore so little perceived resistance that that's when you feel some of those emotions why do the emotions come about because you are not only a vibrational being you are a physical being and the physicality of you means you're a chemical factory so when this frequency meets this frequency it produces this chemical that feels like frustration when this frequency meets this frequency it produces this chemical creation that feels like anger when this frequency meets this frequency it produces a vibration that produces a chemical that feels like love or security or well-being so your emotions are your indicator of the mix of vibrational frequencies between you and you best question about emotions ever best answer about emotions ever because vibrations and thoughts are turning to things and since you live in a physical world isn't it a nice thing that you have the guidance system but it's not just a guidance system it's a physical manifestation of the mixture of vibrations between the whole of who you are and the being that you are allowing yourself to be in any moment in time as we had our experience with our friend here you had the options of looking at it one way or the other and the way you chose had a relationship with the way your inner being was choosing to do it 
and the way your inner being was choosing to do it is the dominant vibration in other words your inner being is not ever going to join you in your vibration if your inner being would find the same vibration that you found about something then there'd be no discord your emotion exists because of your harmony or disharmony with your inner being but your inner being will never join you in a hateful thought you're not ever going to feel good when you hate ever because your inner being's not ever going to join you we used to use this example a lot we say if you saw someone on the street bleeding we know you would go help them but when you see someone flailing about in their discord and anger often you don't want to go help them you sort of want to get away from them even though they really could use your help enough or is there something more yeah you often say there's nothing serious going on here are you referring to our experience physical experience here on planet earth or just day-to-day -day life because well, you're looking at it from a bigger picture of we're talking about all of it but when we say here we mean here where you are focused and we usually say that when there is angst present someone's worried about something and what we mean when we say there's nothing serious going on is that we mean there isn't anything that you can't accomplish the way you want it it's like this we notice as we are aware of the vibrational relationship that someone anyone or a lot of or all of you mass consciousness is having between what you're focused upon in your physicalness and what your inner being is focused upon about the same subject we notice that awareness of physical in the quest to fix something that's broken holds you in a place of discord that is unnecessary but this is the piece that really gets to your question the things that don't feel as important to you you don't think about as much and if you don't think about them as much and your habit of thought is one of worry and pushing against then if you don't think about it things go better for you so the things that feel easy to you or simple to you you have less resistance about than the things that you really care about it's the reason that we were offering you the story it's as easy to create a castle as a button the button just doesn't feel very important so you have no resistance to it the castle feels hard and out of reach and so you introduce more resistance to a larger subject and we were wanting you to put all the subjects in the same category doable haveable beable you can be or do or have anything that you want and one desire that you want is not less attainable than another just because you haven't done it yet or maybe even because no one's done it yet because the laws of the universe are standard and simple and always apply to all things when you want something and you focus upon it without resistance it's going to come into your experience no matter what it is and so that's what we mean by that Thank you. Okay, one more question. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. It's really, really good. You're really good at what you do. <laughs> um. You know why? It's not just that we know what we know. It's that we understand what you want to know right now about what we know. Because we know a lot more than you're asking for right now. There are a lot of you. It's that we know something about what you're asking about. But more important, we know where you are about it that's what we meant by you are being called through your path of least resistance and so it's easy for us to explain to you because we know where your pieces of resistance are and we just don't go there also you don't have much resistance thank you i appreciate it so this last question um this entire universe this has all been cooked up just so we can thrive you're cooking it up your thriving is you're cooking it up somebody else didn't cook it up and then send you over <laughs> well I mean yeah I swear okay it's ready <laughs> send them in <laughs> you're good thank you very much I appreciate it thank you, thank you.